modern warfare, spotting a drone is already too late. They don't circle around politely. They come in fast, small, and deadly. The question is, how do you stop it? And also, how fast can you stop it? Because drones don't wait. Traditional systems like anti-aircraft guns, missiles, or jammers might work. But there's always that 50-50 chance. And for smaller drones like the ones we saw in the Ukraine conflict, even shotguns did a surprisingly good job. But again, not always. You need something faster. Something with better range. Something that doesn't miss. A lightning-fast weapon that reacts instantly. That's where lasers come in. Not science fiction anymore but real. The US and China have been steadily advancing their laser weapon programs, from ship-mounted systems to airborne prototypes. They've demonstrated promising results in tests and simulations. But what sets India apart is that its laser weapon has already been tested against real threats. Pakistan, as always, helpfully volunteers itself as India's unofficial testing range. All right, now the Indian forces have said that they've shot down two Pakistani spy drones on Saturday after they tried to enter into the Indian airspace across the western border of Rajasthan. Need to see if a system works? Just wait, they'll send something across the border. It's happened before. Countries now swear by the Panaka system after its stellar performance in high-altitude operations. And let's not forget when Brahmos casually took a tour of Pakistani airspace, completely unchallenged. And now, thanks to Pakistan's habit of sending drones into Indian territory, whether to drop weapons, narcotics or for surveillance missions, DRDO's D4 laser system got its chance too. But this time, it wasn't a tiny quadcopter. The drone was bigger, designed to monitor troop movements and ease infiltration. In short, a real threat. And the D4 handled it, fast, silent and precise. The drone was neutralized by DRDO's Integrated Drone Detection and Interdiction System using its 2 kilowatt laser MK-1 version. So, how does the D4 system operate? Developed by DRDO and produced by Bard Electronics Limited, the D4, short for Drone, Detect, Deter, and Destroy, is India's first indigenously built anti-drone system inducted into the armed forces. The system employs a multi-layer detection mechanism. A 360 degrees radar provides coverage to detect micro drones within a 4 kilometers radius. A radio frequency detector monitors drone communications up to 3 kilometers. Electro-optical and infrared sensors offer visual identification within 2 kilometers. These sensors work in tandem to confirm and verify targets. Upon detection, the D4 system initiates a two-tiered countermeasure approach, soft kill. Utilizing RF and GNSS jammers, it disrupts the drone's communication and navigation systems. Hard kill. If jamming proves ineffective, the system activates its laser module, capable of neutralizing drones at distances ranging from 150 meters to 1 kilometer. This dual strategy ensures adaptability against various drone threats. The D4 system has been operationally proven, having been deployed during significant national events like the Republic Day and Independence Day celebrations in New Delhi. But now, let's talk about the Big Leap the 30 kW MK2 Directed Energy Weapon System. Recently DRDO has demonstrated an upgraded version of its D4 system. This mobile DW generates a continuous 30 kW laser beam by coherently combining six 5 kW modules. Back in April 2025, during trials in Kurnool, Andhra Pradesh, the system managed to take out small drones and surveillance sensors from as far as 3.5 to 4 kilometers, even in the scorching heat. The whole setup is truck-mounted, with command, control and beam units on separate 4x4 vehicles, and it's flexible enough to be adapted for naval use or airlift deployment. Looking ahead, the DRDO is already envisioning more powerful systems, with plans underway for a 300 kilowatt laser weapon, codenamed Surya, aimed at countering high-speed aerial threats over distances of up to 20 kilometers.